So one of the things about these home batteries is that they're really expensive, but I found someone that has one that is really affordable and I'm driving up right now to Orange County to go have a look at it and see exactly how it works. Reportedly, it's cheaper than some of the other competitors out there, but still can power your whole house. You may know Blue Eddy as the guys that make these portable solar powered batteries you can take with you camping or out to the desert or whatever. They are that, but they also now have a whole home system called the EP900 that is modular, it's stackable, it's affordable, all the things that I think a lot of people want in a home battery. So we're headed up there now to Orange County to have a look and see what this is all about. And thanks to Blue Eddy for sponsoring this video as we check out their latest offering, the EP900. Thanks to Lars in the comment section for giving me about having only expensive batteries on the show. This one's for you because I want to show you how this can actually be quite affordable, even if you're on a budget. So this is Blue Eddy. This is actually an enclosure that they sell, which I think is a nice touch because these batteries, while they'll say they can be indoor and outdoor, really you want them covered in sort of an enclosure. So this is kind of a nice add on here. And inside of here, you have sort of the magic. This is the EP900 system. This is the inverter on top, which has 9,000 watts or nine kilowatts of output, which is plenty for most homes. If you have a really big home, you can get more and add power later. But for my house, at least, this is plenty to really keep us going. You have a 100 amp sub panel here. At my house, we have only a 100 amp panel, so this would feed our entire home. So it can power your whole house. And then down below, you have the individual battery unit. So this is where the energy is actually stored. It's DC coupled, which means that when your solar energy from your panels comes in, there's no loss of efficiency. You're not losing 10% from switching to DC to AC and back. The batteries here, you start with two, 10 kilowatt hours, and you can get that for a good price. We'll dive into that later. But here you have three, so you're looking at 15 kilowatt hours, more than a lot of batteries out there, 9,000 watts or nine kilowatts output, and powering a whole house. So this whole system here fits in a little dice enclosure on the side of your home, can help you save money by going off grid during expensive times and charging up when it's cheaper, as well as provide your family that comfort and safety, that bulletproof life, if there is an outage and you need to be powering something in your home. So I'm really stoked about this because I think it's one that you can start small and expand on. It's not one where you just have to come out the gate with 30 or $40,000. And as you can tell, install is just a few little connectors and wires here. So the install is gonna be quite a bit cheaper than a lot of the other systems out there as well. And just to test what this thing can do, because I said it can put out nine kilowatts, I have the app going here, and we're gonna look as I plug in my Rivian to see how much power it can actually handle. So when it starts charging, it's gonna pull from the grid real briefly just to get it going. And as long as you're not pulling more than the nine kilowatts that it can put out, it will be able to then switch entirely on the battery, meaning you can charge your electric vehicle, or Rivian in this case, or a Tesla, entirely off-grid, which is a really cool feature that it can put out that much power and keep the house going. So there you see that it hit the amount of energy I'm pulling while charging. Now, the car, the Rivian, the Tesla, most of them can pull 11 kilowatts, so that's more than the battery can put out. But if you just pull down the amps a little bit, you'll see that you can actually modulate it and keep it within range, meaning you can charge off-grid. Now, if you need to pull all 11, and if you amp it back up, What'll happen is you'll see that it starts to pull in additional energy from the grid once it gets above what it can put out. Now you can have multiple inverters, so you could go entirely off grid, but with an affordable system, one that is really meant for peak shaving and just backup power, you can still be totally flexible and functional in terms of what your needs are, whether or not you're charging an electric car or just running your house. Okay, so now let's finish up charging and head back to the studio where we can do the math and actually see how affordable this system can be. All right, back home, I didn't make it to the studio, but I think I found a way to do the math here and I had to make it specific to my setup because there's just too many variables to make it sort of a generalization, but I will make this spreadsheet available to you so you guys can actually take this, download it, plug in your own numbers and try to figure it out for yourself. 
Okay, so the way it works, if you're not familiar, is with a battery like this, you can actually go off grid. And if you have time of use pricing where you're charged different rates at different times of day, which a lot of people do in this country, then you can essentially go off grid during that time and sell back energy to the grid at a higher rate than what you paid for it. Or that's the idea anyway. Now here in San Diego, where I'm at, we actually have the most expensive rates in the US. So this math is gonna work out kind of easily in my favor here. Now, in my situation, we have our peak time from four to 9 p.m., which means that I'm not gonna get solar power pushing back to the grid for hours and hours. It's only gonna be for a small portion of that. So what I calculated here was the peak solar output that my system can produce, which is just about six kilowatts, and added in the 10% losses, and then the number of hours that it will be producing this to get me that credit back on my bill. So the total energy there for summer and winter, and I just assumed half of the actual time for winter versus summer, at least here in San Diego, you know, winter is just kind of not summer. And then you have the peak rates, which vary from summer to winter, where I'm at from 82 cents per kilowatt hour to 51 cents per kilowatt hour. Then you multiply those to give you the benefit by day, month, how many months each one is in, and that gives you your benefit by year. This is how much your credit you'll actually get back for sending that energy back to the grid, all made possible because of the battery and the solar panels. Then you look at the warranty of 10 years, and that gives you your total. So this kind of a setup here, and I'm actually gonna price this out a little differently. I wanna show you the website because I think there's a better option than the one we just looked at. Um, the total that you'll get just from sending this back, like if you were able to just disconnect your house, forget the fact of the battery, in my case is about $21,000 across 10 years. That's a good amount that we're saving, but of course it's not free. So when it comes to calculating the cost of this, this is where it gets a bit more difficult. So I looked at the quote I got for the solar panel system on my house and it came out to about 8.5 cents per kilowatt hour. Then multiply that times all those numbers before about how much energy we're sending them back across 10 years. And our total for that energy from the solar panels is just under $2,400. So add in the cost of the battery, which after install, I'm looking at right about $10,500. And you're looking at a total cost of just under $13,000, $12,847 and change, meaning you subtract that from your $21,000 benefit and you are ahead by $8,000, just about $8,300. A system like this is going to save you money and it's gonna protect you against blackouts. So if you have young kids or any other situation where you need to have stuff, maybe a medical equipment or anything that's more you know, mission critical in terms of livelihood, then this is gonna help provide that for you as well. Now, if you go to the Blue Eddy website, what you'll see is this system, the EP900, with several different configurations. The one we looked at earlier was three, which is 15 kilowatt hours, which is a lot. That'll definitely get you from these four hours or five hours of on-peak time. But even if you have a decently sized house, unless you're running all of your appliances and AC and hot tub and all the things at once, you're probably only averaging around one to two kilowatts per hour that are being consumed. So you don't actually need a 15 kilowatt hour system. A two battery system here, which is the smallest one, is only $10,000 after the uh, the current sale that's going on. And then you apply the 30% tax credit from the federal government and you're just over $7,000. Now, granted, that's not installed. So I did another 3,500 for install. Your prices there will vary and maybe you're handy enough to do that on your own. But that system right there is pretty compelling because it is just enough to get by during that time to give you the most benefit, but still protect against blackouts. So I'm a huge fan of this. Thanks to Blue Eddy again for sponsoring this episode because I didn't know about this one and I'm really impressed with it, especially like Lars commented earlier, if you're on the more financially conservative side. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Again, I'll put a link to the spreadsheet so you can kind of punch in your own numbers there. When you get there, just make a copy of it because you're not gonna be able to edit it. And then you can kind of go wild and do whatever you want with it. So that's it. Let me know and I'll see you guys back here next time.